Hey folks, we're gonna take a little time here to go through and do a tutorial on this OSC face capture uh, system. Okay, so first thing you need to do is go into the folder demo room and double click the overview, which will bring you to this kind of scene here. We'll have some instructions back here. I think that they are core instructions um, but the very first thing you need to do is go to edit plugins type up here OSC and these two right here this and this you need to enable open sound control and OSC modulation mixing restart and it'll bring you back here and you should be good to go there now one thing you're going to need to do is get a metahuman um, and either in this project or in another you're going to have to have that for the face capture to work it's set that way by default now you can make the face capture work on any character um, that has morph targets um, but for this example you're going to have to have a metahuman and you're going to have to have it exported from another source my pack does not come with it Okay, so if you go into the main folder here, you're going to see this OSC MetaHuman Blueprint. Double click it. It's going to say that it's missing a skeleton. Would you like to choose a new one? Yes. Okay, so we're going to choose the face archetype skeleton and select retarget. And that's done. This step I don't think is necessary, but I like to do it anyway. If you double click the animation blueprint, change the um, skeletal mesh to Cooper face mesh. Apply to asset and save. Cooper face mesh is my metahuman, it might be different for you. Okay, that's done. Double click the uh, OSC metahuman blueprint. Okay. So now we're going to reparent this to the main metahuman blueprint. So we're going to go to File, Reparent Blueprint. In my case, it's Cooper. So we select him. It takes only a few seconds. And it's going to ask me, am I sure I want to reparent? And I am. So let's do that. And it should start loading everything on the left side, which it did. I'm going to choose the face and I'm going to come down here to the skeletal mesh and choose Cooper face mesh again. And I'm for the animation blueprint, I'm going to choose our OSC animation blueprint. We're going to compile, we're going to save, and we're done. That's all we need to do. It should be working now. I'm going to drag him into the scene. And I'm going to get a little closer so we can see his face. Oop, going a little too quick there. All right. So look up here in the top left corner. I don't know if you can see this cursor or not, but I'm going to go to play, simulate, and it's going to say listen success up here. That means that it's listening successfully. Now I have my iPhone here I just picked up, and I'm going to launch this app. It's called FaceCap. You can find it on the App Store, the Apple App Store. It's called FaceCap. And what this does is it reads your face and has a whole bunch of cool parameters, I think, um, in order to control the morph targets through this blueprint. So I'm going to open that up. And it may ask you for a port. And if so, you have it right here. You can set it to something different, but I just keep it as the default. It works for me. And so I'm going to go back up here. I'm going to simulate. I'm going to connect here on my phone. And I need to connect my Wi-Fi. That's important. Wow. Neat. Ha <laughs> ha Yay. And that's it, folks. That's how it works. Pretty simple and straightforward. 
If you have any problems, questions, concerns, leave them in the comments below and I will be happy to address them. I think this is a pretty cool setup and thanks a lot for listening. Talk to you soon.